Welcome to EDC Ideas and welcome to my inspiration video for all EDC enthusiasts. Let's talk about 100 amazing items to upgrade your EDC or travel kit. We have different parts in this video. We will talk about keychain multi-tools, traditional pocket knives, flashlights and other interesting EDC gear. But let's start with a wild mix. I talked a lot about the multi-pick pick sets and I talked a lot about the multi-pick pocket jackknife pick sets. But this one is an upgraded version. First of all, it's available in this cool bright orange color and you also see it's an upgraded tool set. You have a special tool set for EDC tasks. This pick set comes with an integrated tension tool and a little chain to attach this pocket pick set on your keychain. One of my all-time favorite fire steels is this Exotech version. It's a great little tool for the keychain. You can attach the keychain here and so you find inside this striking tool and on the other side you find the fire steel um, you can use the handle for a better grip and so you have the fire steel with a great handle and the striking tool this is my second fire steel with the first handle a great feature is that you can exchange the fire steel as i mentioned before i also want to talk about travel equipment especially for the summertime and this one is the Merkur Travel Razor 933C. The cool feature of this safety razor is that the safety razor comes in a very small package and you can unscrew the handle so you have the perfect size for your travel kit. When you're looking for another safety razor in a very small package too, the Merkur 46C is also a great choice. The leather case comes with different compartments and you also have a slot for your razor blades. It's really cool that this classic way of wet shaving is modern again. Definitely check out the Merkur website, high quality products made in Germany. When you are looking for a very elegant and slim pocket knife that takes no space, this Fox model is a great choice. A slip joint design is always a great choice when it comes to legal carry. And you also find this key ring here so you can carry this tool on your keychain and you see the scratches. I love to carry this one on my keychain. On my outdoor and hiking tours and during my summer holidays I love to explore the nature and a great choice for this hobby are Leica binoculars. This one is the Leica Trinovit 8x20. The binocular topic is getting more and more popular in the EDC outdoor bushcraft and survival community. When you are looking for compact binoculars with a high quality, definitely check out the Leica Trinovit series. Let's move on with the next five items for your EDC kits or your travel equipment. This is a notebook from Right in the Rain. It's a very small size. It fits perfectly in your EDC organizer. And the cool thing is you can ride on the beach, you can ride in the rain, you can ride underwater. A cool item for your EDC and travel kit. This one is a design from Reini Rossmann. Reini Rossmann is a very popular survival coach and EDC enthusiast here from Europe. A great little feature, especially when you want to carry this one around your neck. When you are looking for a tool for very precise cuts and a tool for Titanium Tuesday or Titanium Thursday, this model from Key Unity with the Topo Design Scales is a great choice. This model comes with a razor sharp blade and you can exchange the blade and set in a new one. A cool little gadget for your keychain or your EDC kit. Always stay organized on your keychain. This one is a Helicontext Snaphook, one of my all time favorite organizer for the keychain. A heavy duty Snaphook, high quality from Helicontext. Helicontext is normally very popular for high quality outdoor clothing. The knife topic is very important for the EDC community and that's the reason why we start with five traditional pocket knives. It was important for me to include a knife that's a slip joint design with carbon steel. This is a Boca Stockman made in Soling. I like the fact that the Stockman designs are modern and popular again. This is a serious and a knife concept with a lot of history. It's a very slim design and legal to carry in most places. Let's talk about an icon from Soling and an icon from Puma. This is a Puma Duke. It's a very classic design um, as a backlog model 
and a classic blade shape. This model is very popular in the hunters community and that's the reason why I choose a version with stack scales. Compared to the other models in this traditional selection, the Buck 112 is definitely a heavy duty tool. It's the small brother of the iconic Buck 110, but I also think that the Buck 112 is a legend too. The blade is secured with a backlog and you see it here the handle is heavy duty and it's very comfortable to work with. You find this model also with finger grooves. I like the traditional blade design and it's a great cutting tool. Um, even when it's not the high-end steel compared to other modern pocket knives. When you are looking for a present for someone who should have a lifetime knife in a classic or traditional design, check out the Buck 112. It's one of my most used tools and I love to carry it in the heavy-duty leather pouch from Buck. The last model from Zoling in our selection is this hardcop version. This is a model 290. It's also a backlog model with a traditional blade shape. This is one of my most used and most carried pocket knives ever. It's a model with a lot of sentimental value. This one was an amazing present. Compared to the Buck models, this model is a fairly slim design, but it's durable and you will get the work done with this model. I carry this model in this pouch. This is not a hardcore pouch, this is a handmade pouch from France. Let's come to this little slim backlog folder from Case. Case is very popular for traditional knife designs. Um, I love this version because it's slim. I love the stainless steel body. It's easy to carry, for example, in the wallet or in the fifth pocket. All in all, a great little companion for your EDC adventures. Let's move on and talk about five modern pocket knife designs. And I think the Boca Boxer is a great mix between modern and traditional style. It's also a backlog design with great jimpings on the backlog. Um, we have classic curves but modern materials. One of my all-time favorites, this one is pure elegance and it's legal to carry here in Germany. The Boca Boxer is made in Soling. It's a Raphael Durand design. It's a beauty with all the details, a very modern knife design with a traditional touch. I love this one for EDC. When we are talking about modern pocket knives, it's important to talk about Spyderco. I love the Spyderco models and I have a Spyderco collection too. One of my favorites for EDC is a Spyderco Tenacious. The blade of the Spyderco Tenacious is secured with a liner lock. This model comes with a pocket clip. All in all, it's a great workhorse with an excellent price performance ratio. When we are talking about legendary pocket knife designs, we also have to talk about this Benchmade model. This is the Osborne 940 and one of my all time favorites. It's a model with a great action, with a great blade shape for EDC. Uh, you can open this model with the thumb start, it comes with an access lock and you have so many cool details for EDC. I have to mention that there are different models available with different steels for example, with different scales and there's also a mini version. I haven't cleaned this Extrema Ratio model but it's also a user in my EDC rotation. This is the Extrema Ratio BF1 in the all black version. As the spider coat tenacious, this um, blade is secured with a liner lock. I love the grip of the handle and the complete design. This model comes with one of the best pocket clips on pocket knives. It's a heavy duty pocket clip and it's easy to grab with gloves. Some people say that the BF1 is a model that's not a beauty. But I really like the design, it's one of the best users in my EDC rotation and maybe I'm not that objective because I'm an Extrema Ratio Ambassador. The Okazo Seton is definitely a pocket knife for a gentleman. It's made in Taiwan and the fit and finish is perfect. It's a really slim design with a liner lock and it's one of my all time favorite designs when we talk about pocket knife designs of the last years. Let's talk about 10 multi-tools for your keychain. The first model in our selection is the Ruike S21, a really cool keychain tool with uh, black scales, um, with a great blade and a combination tool with a bottle opener, a, a cutting tool and a tip that's designed as a screwdriver. 
And when we compare this Ruike model with a model from the Victorinox 58mm series, we see the Ruike model is a little bit larger. Um, that's an advantage because of the blade. Um, it's a great little working blade and I prefer the Ruike blade over the blade from the Victorinox 58mm series. All in all, it's a great little tool for the keychain and I like the price-performance ratio. The next keychain tool is this little Gerber tool. It's a model from the Bear Grylls series and let's go through the different tools. This Gerber model comes with spring-loaded and slim pliers. You find two different blades, um, one with serrations and one without serrations. You have the tweezers, um, a little uh, flathead screwdriver and I have to mention that you have this slim profile Phillips head and a bottle opening tool with a screwdriver tip but I have to mention that especially this side is extremely hard to open. Um, you need extremely strong fingernails to open this tool and that's not very comfortable. All in all it's a cool tool from Gerber. The quality is not on the same level compared to the tools from Leatherman or from Victorinox but I like the spring loaded pliers. The biggest problem is that it's extremely hard to open the different tools. One of my all-time favorites for the keychain and in my opinion highly underrated when it comes to keychain tools, let's talk about the SOC Crosscut. The SOC Crosscut comes with a great tool set for EDC. We have this nail file and a nail cleaning tool. It's always important for me to have a toothpick. We have a combination tool with a bottle opener and an extremely fine tip as a flathead screwdriver. We also have a blade, we have tweezers and we have this little pry tool slash flathead screwdriver and the high quality scissors. And next to this combination tool you find the item where you can attach your keychain. This version of the SOC Crosscut comes with a pouch. This one is an older model and you can carry the SOC Crosscut in the pouch on the keychain or in the pouch in your pockets. All in all I have to mention that there are some quality differences when it comes to the SOC Crosscut models. When you are able to get an older model for example in the purple old vintage package this one would be a better choice compared to the newer models. The quality of the older models have a higher standard compared to the newer versions. Let's stay in the SOC product line and let's talk about the SOC Snippet. The SOC Snippet is also a scissor based tool and you have the wings on this side and this side for a better control of the scissors. The tool set inside is very similar to the SOC Crosscut. We have a nail cleaning tool with a nail file. We have a flathead screwdriver in a larger version. We have the tweezers, a combination tool. We also have a blade and a toothpick. Two cool features when it comes to the carry options. You have this attachment for the keyring here and you can also carry this tool with this pocket clip. And especially the pocket clip is a reason why I bought this tool. All in all, this tool is okay. It's a medium quality tool, but it's very uncomfortable to work with because a lot of edges are not rounded. Let's talk about a very large model for the keychain. This is the SOC Powerpoint. I think the SOC Powerpoint is, when it comes to the weight and the size and the selection of the different tools, a prototype of the perfect EDC multi-tool. There are a lot of great tools, for example, the blade and all, um, a flathead screwdriver, different combination tools, scissors, a blade with serrations and excellent pliers, but the quality is only on a medium level. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad tool, it's a great tool for the keychain with a lot of options. But when the quality would be on another level, this one would be one of my all-time favorites for EDC. You can carry it with an attachment for the keychain and you can also carry this tool with a pocket clip. When we are talking about plier-based multi-tools for the keychain, the Gerber Dime is definitely one of the best choices. We have spring-loaded pliers, we have a bottle opening tool, a box cutter, a blade, scissors. We have um, a little flathead screwdriver and a nail cleaning tool with a file. 
And when we talk about the size and the dimensions compared to a Victorinox tool, it's a really compact tool and I love the combination of spring-loaded pliers with a tool set and with scissors. All in all, a great keychain tool. You find this tool in different colors. The legend for the keychain and a legend from Leatherman Tools. This is the Leatherman Mini Tool. Let's talk about this unique tool and the toolset. It's the only tool in this selection with full-sized needle nose pliers and a great wire cutter. You can unfold the handle to get a full-sized multi-tool and you also have the possibility to attach this full-sized multi-tool on your keychain. This is a fully unfolded version for a great grip and excellent pliers. And you see it here, you can carry full-size pliers that are a little bit bigger compared to a Victorinox Swiss Army knife from the 58mm series. Next to the excellent pliers, we find a screwdriver tip on the file. We have a bottle opening tool, we have also a can opening tool and a small blade. And we have two different rulers on the back side of the scales. And when we talk about high quality keychain multi-tools, we have to talk about the Leatherman Micra series and we have to talk about the Leatherman Squirt series. The Leatherman Micra is a scissor based multi-tool with a combination tool, a flathead screwdriver, tweezers, an excellent blade, you also have a flathead screwdriver and a nail cleaning tool with a nail file. All in all, it's a great series for the keychain from Leatherman in a high quality. Let's talk about the Leatherman Squirt PS4. This is the Benchmade tool when it comes to player-based multi-tools for the keychain. The quality of this tool is excellent. It's a lightweight tool with a very great tool set for the EDC world. We have excellent pliers, we have a knife, we have a file, we have um, scissors, the S stands for scissors and the P stands for pliers. All in all a great quality. Sadly it's a discontinued series and the prices on the second market are getting higher and higher. Let's talk about a unique multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Squirt ES4. The toolset is very similar compared to the PS4 we talked before, but you find here electrician scissors, electrician pliers, a cool feature. This model is a rare collector's item and it's hard to find in perfect condition on the second market. But when you have this one on the keychain, it's a great choice. I love the ES4. Let's start with five forks for your EDC kit. Knipex is known for high quality pliers, but the junior company from Knipex had this cool product in their product line. It's the Knipex fork and it's my all time favorite when it comes to EDC forks. I love to carry this one in my EDC kits. The quality and the design is really, really cool and high quality. And this Knipex fork comes with this cool leather pouch with the Knipex logo. The company Light My Fire is very popular for high quality fire steels, but they have a fork and spoon combination tool in their product line. This is the Light My Fire Titanium Spork. The huge advantage of the titanium items is that they are extremely light. And you see it here, the fork is big enough or small enough to fit in a standard EDC pouch. This one was a Neftel pouch from Helicon Tex. Another cool lightweight and extremely slim fork for EDC. This one is the version from Messer & Co. Many many thanks to Dirk Wanger for the amazing forks. You have this version and you also have this version for example or this one, really, really cool stuff from Mesa & Co. When you are looking for a set uh, in the size of a credit card, this card cutlery set from Puma is a great choice. You have a knife and you also have the fork. It's a really, really cool set, a really slim design. It fits perfectly in your wallet. And when you are looking for a competitor of Swiss Army knives, you should have a look at the MKM Malga 6. This is also a version that comes with a fork, a more high quality steel. You also find a bottle opener and for the evening a corkscrew. 
All in all, the quality of the MKM knives and the MKM tools is really cool. A great option when it comes to the Malga 6 is you can change the scales. There's for example a blue version available and so you have the orange version and the blue version in one tool. Pry bars for everyday carry are very popular in the EDC community and let's start with 10 options for a pry tool. One of my most used EDC pry bars in an EDC toolkit is this mini pry bar from Hultaforce. The size is perfect for a toolkit and you can work with this little tool. You have different options when it comes to prying and when it comes to nail pulling. All in all, a very cool tool and I love to carry this one on the backside of my Maxpedition organizer. This little EDC pry bar is the EDT tool from 511. It's only a little keychain gadget that comes with a carabiner. Um, you have this little pry tip here and the bottle opener. Surely it's not a tool for the heavy duty tasks. As I mentioned before, it's a gadget for your keychain and you can also use the combination tool of your Swiss Army knife for prying. But I want to show some inspirations for your keychain and for your EDC and this one is a cool little gadget. Let's talk about an EDC legend. This one is a pocket wrench 2 in the black version. There are different versions available. The black version is hard to find. All in all, you have a wrench function here. You have two different rulers, a pry bar tip that also works as a big flathead screwdriver. And you also have the possibility to attach a bit. This tool is a discontinued tool and it's very popular in the EDC collectors community and in the multi-tool collectors community too. I really like the gear spool mighty bar. It's a cool and puristic design of an EDC pry bar, especially for the keychain. Um, it's definitely one of my most carried tools. This one is always on my keychain. This little pry bar from Yuko is normally not a pry bar. It's designed as a striker for a Yuko fire steel, but it also works excellent as a pry bar with a pry tip the function for bottle opening and you also find a wrench function and a hole to attach a bit. And when it comes to EDC tools, for example for the keychain, you don't have to spend a lot of money. This one is a version from Amazon and I bought uh, this tool in a pack of three. It's useful for the keychain, especially when you want to be careful with the tip of your knife. Only a little prying option that's very durable. When you want to spend a lot of money for an EDC pry tool, the O-Pry from Olight is a great choice. All in all, it's a titanium tool with a pry bar tip and you have a bottle opener, a bit holder, you have a wrench function, a cool pocket clip, you have rulers on the side and you also have two bits, for example, for the knife maintenance. I mentioned that in other videos. I really like this tool, but it's extremely expensive. I think this one is a great choice for EDC and titanium enthusiasts and for people who want to carry the pry bar with a pocket clip. As the O-Pry before, this titanium pry bar from Key Unity is also a great but really expensive choice. You have a heavy duty pry bar with a bit holder, a prying tip, and a bit holder for micro bits and you can also attach a pocket clip. Lightweight and with a lot of EDC style, this is a Tango Bar from Boca Plus. All in all, it's a cool little pry bar tool and you can carry it with the pocket clip, you can carry it with the keychain or you can attach it to your keychain and you also have the possibility to attach this tool to a carabiner tool. When you are looking for a pry bar gadget with a great price performance ratio, the Gerber Shard is a great choice. This little tool comes with a pry bar tip, a bottle opener and a Phillips head. It's a low profile Phillips head screwdriver on the backside and you can also use the tips here as a flathead screwdriver. Let's start with my five favorite pens for EDC. 
This orange tactical pen is a version from 511 with a great design. You have a lot of grip and it's designed as a pen and as a self-defense tool. The model name of this pen is Kubaton and you also find a black version. The Fenix T6 is also a tactical pen but with more functions. First of all it's a standard pen. You have the pocket clip here. This model comes with a glass breaker tip on the end and you also have an integrated flashlight. This model comes in different colors and you can charge it via USB-C. I always like bold action pens because it's a lot of fun to play with. This sole build permanent marker is a bold action permanent marker. The next pen in our selection is the Karandash 849. All in all it's an elegant pen and the quality is great too. I think the price performance ratio is really fair. And when we talk about the series, there are different colors available. This one is a more modern color, a bright yellow. We also have, for example, a purple version and a version in deep red. Last but not least, my most used pen for EDC. This is a bold action pen from Tactile Turn. It's a simple and elegant design with one of the best pocket clips I know for a pen. And I really love the fine structure of the surface. You have a lot of grip and the bolt action is a great mechanism and a lot of fun to play with. Let's start with 10 Swiss Army knives or let's be more precise. Let's start with 10 models from Victorinox and Wenger. One of the most underrated products from Victorinox is definitely the Victorinox Swiss card. All in all, it's a multi-tool in a card design and you find different tools, for example, the knife, you find, for example, the nail file, tweezers, a toothpick and a pen. And you also find, for example, the scissors here. All in all, it's a great a little tool for the wallet or for the backpack. I really like this design. You find the Victorinox Swiss card in different configurations. You can choose different colors. All in all a great product in a slim design. Very useful in the wallet or the backpack. Let's start with the Victorinox Rescue Tool. One of the few models from Victorinox with glow in the dark scales. In the past there was for example the Victorinox Classic Stay Glow but that's a discontinued model and there are for example some scout versions for the US market. Let's start with the unique toolset of the Victorinox Rescue Tool. There are so many good reasons why a Victorinox Rescue Tool always stays in my car. For example the glass breaker tip or this rescue blade for cutting seat belts. You also find a saw for the car window when you have to saw the uh, car window open. Um, the blade um, is a locking blade and it's secured with a liner lock. All in all you find on the back side a Phillips head and an awl and surely there are the um, toothpick and the tweezers. There is another cool feature on the Victorinox rescue tool. The combination tool with the heavy duty bottle opener and the heavy duty flathead screwdriver is a perfect little pry bar when you have to pry something open. It's very durable and as you see here it's secured with a liner lock. When we are talking about Victorinox models there are only replaceable parts when it comes to the tools inside the scales but when it comes to the Victorinox rescue tool for example the glass breaker is replaceable. This tool from Victorinox comes in this pouch. I really like this pouch. It's secured with hook and loop and it's very visible with the bright yellow color. You also have an extremely large belt loop so you can carry it for example on large belts or other firefighters equipment. I talk on my channel about Swiss Army knives. I don't talk a lot about Victorinox Alox models. But let's start with the Victorinox Alox Pioneer, one of the greatest Victorinox models of all time. 
the iconic Victorinox Alloc scales are metal scales and very durable for EDC, bushcraft or for example for your survival kit. The Victorinox Pioneer is one of the most iconic models in this iconic series and it comes with a large slip joint blade and you find also a combination tool, we know it from Victorinox very well. It's a can opener with a flathead screwdriver. Next to the all we find the combination tool with a wire bender, a bottle opener and a flathead screwdriver tip. And surely we have this attachment for example for the keychain. I have to mention that you have to be careful when you buy a Victorinox Alox model. First of all it's a great EDC tool and when you buy one you will maybe buy a second one. But you have to see another fact. The Victorinox Alox series or the different Alox models are the most popular models when it comes to Swiss Army knife collection nowadays. So this topic, the Victorinox Alox topic is a rabbit hole. Be careful when you have one, maybe you have in the near future two, three, four, five or more. It's dirty, it's hard used and one of my all time favorites. This is the Victorinox Classic of the Victorinox 58mm series. This Victorinox Classic comes with a small blade, a nail cleaning tool with a nail cleaning tip that also works as a little flathead screwdriver. We also have the scissors, we have the toothpick, the tweezers and the keyring. The Victorinox Classic models are a cheap start into the Victorinox hobby. It's a great present and it's always useful on the keychain. The Victorinox Executive of the 74mm series is a great choice when the Victorinox Classic is a little bit too small. I really like the unique toolset of the Victorinox Executive. Let's start with the orange peeler, great for the summertime and for the wintertime too. This model comes with a larger blade. We have the nail file on the back side and a nail cleaning tip. This model comes also with scissors, the tweezers, the toothpick and we find a small blade here and an attachment for the keychain here. When you are looking for a budget friendly Victorinox model, check out the Victorinox Excelsior. The Victorinox Excelsior comes with a large blade and a small blade and the attachment for the key ring here. All in all it's a reduced but very useful tool set and I really like the slim design. When I carry this model I have the following strategy. The large blade is always my working blade and for some tasks I always keep the small blade razor sharp. It was important for me to include the Wenger Evo 565 in this selection because a lot of people like clip point blades, but it's hard to find a Swiss Army knife with a clip point design. This unique tool was available for around 11 euro on Amazon some years ago. Nowadays it's a rare collector's item. This Wenger tool is a one layer tool. We find the cool clip point blade design and we know this blade design for example from the Wenger soft touch series. We also have this combination tool with a bottle opener, a wire bender and the um, combination tool tip here. We have the key ring here and you see it here the tweezers, the toothpick and the Phillips head screwdriver. I think it's a cool and useful tool, especially the slim design in combination with the Evo scales is really cool and comfortable to work with and I love the clip point design. When it comes to perfection of the toolkit in a Swiss Army knife for an urban environment, I really like the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker. This model comes with pliers next to the scissors. We have a large blade, a, f a small blade. We have the combination tools. We have the Phillips head, the universal key and the all. And I've added the Victorinox Plus scales so I can carry the pen with this tool and I've added this pocket clip. All in all, it's a great four layer tool set for an urban environment. I only have one wish. It would be great when Victorinox would include the universal hook from the Victorinox Compact with a nail file on the backside. And let's jump over to the amazing Victorinox Compact. It's a two layer tool and I think um, the tool set is perfect for a slim and lightweight carry. This model comes with a large blade. 
We have the combination tool with the bottle opener, the screwdriver tip. We also have the scissors. On the back side, we find the um, corkscrew with an integrated um, screwdriver for eyeglasses. We have the universal hook with the nail file on the back side. Let's talk about the tools in the scales. We have the toothpick, we have the Victorinox pen, we also have the standard tweezers. And I have to mention that there's a slot under the corkscrew for a needle that's always useful for EDC and surely you find an attachment for the keychain. When you are looking for a tool for the bushcraft and hiking adventures because of the saw and a locking blade, and maybe you want a small Victorinox tool for this task, check out the Victorinox Evo Grip S18. You have a locking blade, excellent for carving. We have um, the saw, great for the small little bushcraft projects. We have scissors, uh, a nail cleaning tool, the standard combination tools. We also have this Phillip head screwdriver here and so all. And surely this model comes with the tweezers and the toothpick. Let's move on to five different sharpening tools for your EDC or toolkit. This one is a classic sharpening steel or classic sharpening rod. It's very popular, for example, for knives from Victorinox, for Opinel, and it's also used for a lot of knives from Zoling. It's not a tool to get a new edge on your knife, it's a honing tool. The huge advantage of this tool is you can throw it in your EDC kit or in your backpack and you won't break this tool. It's very durable and it's always there when you need it. It's not designed for extremely hard steels. The problem is when you have a hard steel, you will cut into the surface of this sharpening rod. The Duo Sharp or the Dual Sharp from Victorinox is a legendary sharpening tool in the EDC outdoor bushcraft and survival community. It's a sharpening tool with two different stages. The first stage is a synthetic sharpening rod and you see it here you have for example a line to sharpen your darts or your fish hooks. You have different roundings for sharpening your serrations but you can easily sharpen knives with a straight edge. The first stage is for a great working edge and the second stage, it's a stage with classic ceramic V-cutters, is uh, for the honing and depending on the steel you can get razor sharp results with this sharpening tool. This pen sized diamond sharpening tool from Scarpa is a very popular version for fisher or for hunters. I really like this version because you have a protected sharpening steel and the handle is the handle of your sharpening rod. So you have different surfaces. You have, for example, a line to sharpen fish hooks. You have different roundings and you have um, a plain side to sharpen straight edges. Inside the handle, you have another side and this is a sharpening tool to sharpen serrations. I have to mention that uh, the diamonds are more on the core side, so it's a tool to get a great working edge back. It's not a tool for the fine fit and finish when it comes to the sharpening process. From time to time I don't use modern materials to sharpen my knives. This one is a natural sharpening stone from Belgischer Brocken. The sharpening equipment and the whetstones from Belgischer Brocken are very popular here in Europe and they have a long sharpening tradition. This stone is not the right tool to set a new edge on your knife. It's an extremely fine stone and I use this stone for the finish of the sharpening process. The survival sharp from DMT is a combination tool and it's designed to attach this tool on your gear, on your backpack or in your EDC organizer. You have a classic sharpening surface. This one is a fine version and you will get a great working edge. This tool comes also with an integrated fire steel and you also find a diamond stone to sharpen your serrations. The EDC community loves toolkits and let's start with 10 upgrades for your EDC toolkit. When you are looking for a lightweight toolkit, and when you are looking for a storage option for your bits, this bit holder from Victorinox is a great choice. You find this tool in different sets of the Victorinox Swiss Tool and the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit Series, and you find it, for example, preloaded with four different bits. 
but you also find um, a version without bits so you can choose your individual choices. One of my all-time favorite items for EDC, this is a Ballistol Universal Oil Towel. It's extremely slim and lightweight and so you always have Ballistol with you. Ballistol oil is very popular on the European market and you have thousand different use cases. For example, it's a great fire starter, it's for leather care, for skin care and for tool maintenance. One of my most used tools for EDC, this is the HZ magnetic pickup tool with a telescopic function. You find different versions in different price ranges. I always prefer the high quality stuff, for example this one from HZ. HZ is very popular for high quality tools. Or this one from Vigor. Um, it's a stronger magnet but the size is a little bit more bulky. All in all a great tool especially when you want to pick up a metal from small and tight spaces. I have made bad experience with all the cheap stuff because the telescopic mechanism is always breaking. Only buy high quality tools and the tools will be there when you need them. For EDC it's always useful to carry lightweight stuff because the chances are higher that you have the tool with you when you need it. And um, the most important thing is a combination of lightweight, durability and high quality. This one is an adjustable wrench from HZ. You have a lot of great options when you have this HZ tool with you. It's lightweight, it's durable and in a high quality. Another EDC legend in our selection. This one is the Knipex Cobra in the 125mm version. It's also a tool with thousands of use cases in a high quality. This one is made in Germany. And you see it here, you can grab a lot of things um, in different sizes. All in all the mechanism works perfect, a great and high quality tool. Let's come to the brother of the Knipex Cobra. This one is the Knipex pliers wrench and it's also a high quality tool. The Cobra versions and the plier wrench versions comes from time to time in sets because they are an excellent combination for EDC and we have so many options to repair or maintain different things. Knipex is very popular for high quality pliers and we see for example the Cobra model before, but Knipex is also very popular for high quality universal keys. This high quality and heavy duty universal key comes with a lot of options for different locking mechanisms. This key comes with two different parts and the parts are connected with a magnet. And you can use one of the slots to add this screwdriver set here and the screwdriver set comes with this little chain here so you have a complete set for lightweight repair. And when you are looking for a smaller set of universal keys, this tool from Knipex is a great choice. It's lightweight and it's perfect for the keychain. Let's come to another high quality brand. This is a Zyklope from Vera. This is designed as a screwdriver tool with a wrench function. And you can set the head in different angles. So you have the perfect tool for different screwdriving tasks or you can also add some nuts to the head. When you are looking for a high quality partner for your Vera Zyklop, the Vera Toolcheck is a great choice. The Vera Toolcheck comes with a high quality selection of different nuts. You also have a great selection of different bits and you have a bit adapter for example for some power tools and you also have a cool and high quality Ratchet. We don't have enough space here on the table, but it's important for me to talk about five different EDC organizers or EDC pouches. And we start with a product from MTech. In my opinion, the first eight topic is very important, but sadly underrated in the EDC community. This is a little first aid organizer from MTech. This is the City Med pouch. When we unfold this little organizer, we see we have different compartments in this ripstop materials and we have enough space and enough options to organize our first aid equipment. 
I like this organizer especially for a summer EDC when we don't have so much pockets and maybe we don't have a huge backpack. This one is a great basic set for your EDC equipment. Another cool and compact option for your first aid equipment is this mini first aid organizer from Tasmanian Tiger. This product from Tasmanian Tiger comes with a high-end fabric and we also have this first aid medic emergency patch. And on the back side um, you see you have different carry options, um, for example for the belt, but you can also throw this one in your backpack or in a larger EDC organizer. A huge advantage is that this version comes preloaded. This little pouch is well organized and the stuff inside is only high quality. All in all, it's a great choice for EDC or for a kit when you want to go outside for a hike or for the next bushcraft tour. I really like this cool organizer, high quality stuff from Tasmanian Tiger. Let's talk about the next product from MTech. This is a utility pouch from MTech, a cool little EDC organizer um, with a simple structure. All in all, we have a durable ripstop material and a carry option on the back side. But let's take a look inside. We only have one compartment inside, but it's enough, especially when you carry a flashlight or a multi-tool for example and other uh, small items in your EDC kit. All in all a great organizer with an excellent price performance ratio. Talking about EDC pouches, it's nearly impossible when we don't include a product from Maxpedition. This is the Maxpedition Mini Organizer. This Maxpedition Organizer comes with a compartment in the front and a loop section here. You can add, for example, some patches and we have this loop here. So this organizer is easy to grab when you carry this one in the cargo pants or in your backpack. On the back side, this model comes with different loops and you also can attach different adapters to these loops. So you can carry this pouch, for example, on your Molly equipment or on your belt. Let's take a look inside. We have a large compartment here, for example, for a small notebook. We have different rubber loops to attach, for example, a knife, a multi-tool or a flashlight. And it's also possible to attach your key on this little hook here. And when we check the other side, we can also attach a key or a key ring on this loop here. We have this large compartment on the back side and different rubber loops to organize our EDC equipment. All in all, the Maxpedition organizers and the Maxpedition products stands for a high quality. The material and the fabric is very durable and the zippers are high quality. I talked about the Neftel pouch from Helicon Tex in a previous video. In my opinion, it's an underrated pouch with some great options for EDC. The fabric is high quality and you have a front compartment and um, on the front side you find this loop section to attach for example a patch and on the back side we see multiple carry options it's um, perfect to organize these pouches for example on your molly equipment and you can also carry this one on your belt let's check out the front compartment it's hard to see we have a loop for a keyring or our keychain and in the front compartment we have different rubber loops they are perfect to organize pen sized flashlights knives, SAKs and other multi-tools. This is the inside of the main compartment and you see it here you also have a loop to attach your key or for example a small flashlight or the complete keychain. Um, we have a large rubber loop here so you can attach EDC equipment on this side. You also find this fluffy material here so this pouch is perfect to carry your smartphone or your digital camera in outdoor environment. It's a very fluffy and safe material, so you don't have scratches on any optics. Let's start with 10 useful items for your first aid kit. Hygiene is always important and it's also important, especially when you are on a lone wolf trip, that you can see parts of your body you normally can't see. That's the reason why I always carry a mirror like this. Let's talk about the Leatherman Raptor, a high quality emergency and rescue tool. You have these amazing um, scissors. Um, you can cut nearly everything, very thick material. You can cut uh, different fabrics. You can cut, for example, leather. 
Um, you also have this rescue hook, a rescue blade for the seatbelt, for example. A cool and underrated feature is this ring cutter here. And you also have a glass breaker tip on the end. The Leatherman Raptor is definitely a tool for professionals, but I think it's a great addition for EDC enthusiasts, for preppers or for outdoor and bushcraft adventurers. A great tool for your first aid kit, high quality stuff from Leatherman. The Leatherman Raptor comes in this plastic pouch. I love the plastic material because it's easy to clean and easy to disinfect. I always carry a high quality permanent marker because you can write down some notes or the time of an accident and you also can mark for example areas of the skin and you can check if there's an ongoing infection. High quality tweezers are a must have in a first aid kit. I love this Knipex version um, and I also have a VHA version too. These are extremely fine tweezers. They are perfect for example to remove splinters or six. A small Victorinox Swiss Army knife, like this Victorinox Rambler here, takes no space and you have very useful scissors and a useful blade when you have to cut some plasters, for example. It takes no space and it's a high quality tool. I think a great option for your first aid kit. Another cheap, lightweight and extremely slim item. These are some alcohol pads to disinfect, for example, the skin or surfaces. And depending on the brand, you can use this Alcopets, for example, to start a fire in an emergency situation. I love to carry a combination flashlight like this. This is a Fenix HM50R. The R stands for rechargeable. It's a very useful item, especially by night. You have the light there when you need it. And you can check, for example, uh, the inside area of the mouse, you can check the teeth or the tongue. All in all, a great and underrated item. You can use this little flashlight here as a standard flashlight, for example, with a pocket clip, you can clip it on your closings. And there's also the possibility to attach this flashlight here to a headband, so you have both hands free and a high quality headlamp. When we are talking about bleeding control, a tourniquet is always useful, but I have to mention that it's important that you have a high quality tourniquet and it's important that you train your skills together with a professional. It's important that you have a certificate um, how to use these uh, tools for professional, but when it comes to bleeding control, a high quality tourniquet is a must have. This version is a cat tourniquet, one of the most popular tourniquets on the market. I really like the quality, I have trained a lot with this tourniquet, one of my favorites. And when we are talking about tourniquets and bleeding control, you don't have time. So it's always important that you have quick access to your tourniquet and that's the reason why I carry the tourniquet in this 511 tourniquet pouch. When you want to upgrade your first aid kit, a standard pocket lens is always a great choice. You can see the things more detailed when it comes, for example, to six or splinters. Always useful and I always carry one of them in my first aid kit. Let's move on and talk about five different flashlights for EDC in different sizes with different functions. We start with an underrated flashlight in the flashlight community and in the flashlight world. This is a Fenix ECP. It's designed as a flashlight without a tactical style and there's also an integrated power bank to charge, for example, your smartphone. In my opinion, there are different important things for a safe way home. The first thing is that you can communicate and the second thing is that you can see the way you have to go. The Fenix ECP is always a great choice and I like the yeah, society friendly and not that tactical design. When you are looking for a more tactical and high quality flashlight, the Fenix TK20R in the UE version is a great choice. A lot of output, the reach is over 400 meters. It's a rechargeable flashlight too. You have a great a tail switch, you can uh, switch through different modes. All in all, a high quality flashlight. This Fenix flashlight comes in this holster. A great choice when you want to carry the flashlight, for example, on the belt. Let's talk about the next Fenix flashlight. Um, it's a Fenix flashlight from another Fenix product line. This is the PD22R. Compared to the TK20R, 
this PD model um, is not that big. It's more comfortable to carry it in your EDC organizer or on the belt. You have more than enough light for the different EDC situations and EDC tasks. A cool feature is the silent tail switch. When you are looking for a small powerhouse for the keychain, this Nightgore version is a great choice. This is the Nightgore Tiny 2. The output of this little keychain flashlight is really, really good. And I love the display, so you can see, for example, the mode and the runtime of this flashlight. When you are looking for enough light on the keychain, this LED lenser version is a great choice. This is the model K6R. The R stands for rechargeable. All in all, you have different modes, uh, enough output for different EDC tasks, and you also have a red light mode. Another cool feature is that you can recharge this flashlight, for example, on your laptop. So you have always a running light when you need it. The only problem is the um, IPX standard when it comes to water resistance. This is not a flashlight for heavy rain. Let's start with the last five items in my selection and let's talk about lightweight and cheap items you already have at home. I always like to carry high quality duct tape and high quality electrician tape. I wrap them around a standard card so they are easy to carry in my EDC kit. We don't forget safety pens, they are extremely useful when you want to repair something, uh, when it comes to your clothing or your gear. All in all lightweight and you find them in a drawer at home. Same with the paper clips, you find them in different sizes and all in all they are the ultimate MacGyver tool and maybe some of us have started the lock picking hobby with the paper clips. One of the most underrated items in an EDC kit is some extra cash. In an urban environment you can buy for example food or something to drink. Always useful when you have some extra cash in your EDC kit. A lot of people carry tissues in their backpack or in their pockets and there is a reason. This one is an extremely cheap, thin, lightweight and useful item for different EDC tasks. Please let me know in the comment section below, are you looking for more videos in this style with a lot of different EDC gear and EDC inspiration? I'm looking forward to your comments and thanks for watching.